Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crunch Time. Today we're looking at a game called Under the Ocean. This game is an alpha. It's Alpha 7 Update 5. It's pretty cool, guys. It's got a lot of elements of crafting and survival. Let's just jump right into it. Let me show you what we got. Alright, we're going to go into the uh, the random mode. This is I find is pretty cool. Alright, so this game, you're kind of shipwrecked on an island and you have to survive. And... You gotta survive however you can, so it's uh, it's got a bit of purpose. You ultimately want to try to get away. This is your man, a well-fed sailor. He uh, he jumps around. He's got big paws or mittens, and uh, he's wearing a nice wife beater, and he's got golden locks. Okay, so when you open it up, you got your journal right away. And this journal, okay, that's your settings. I was screwing around with that. Ship one, your day one, your ship ran aground on an island. You are left stranded. Okay. The one thing I really like about this game are the recipes for crafting. We'll get back to that, to that in a second. The hotkey for your journal is J. Okay, you have your inventory. Uh, um, it's F. F is what you press for your inventory. This is just like a little backpack backpack that you can put stuff in and carry around and obviously your hotkeys. Uh, you can upgrade this later too. And of course your tool belt. This is where you get all your crafting done. Alright, so night approaches. We need to seek some shelter. Hotkey for your tool belt is T. So let's just start running. Okay. Um, one thing that's really useful is if you see food laying around or if you see uh, sticks laying around, you should pick them up. Now, there's some um, common elements to uh, a lot of games here. So I just picked up a short stick, just dragged and dropped it. Here's another short stick. You, you, these are all really useful items and you should pick them up. I believe this will explode. So uh, I don't want to really do that just yet. Okay, long sticks are really useful. Uh, these long sticks can be used in crafting again, so I'm just picking up some supplies. So you can see it's got some elephant elephants elements from like Minecraft because you got to collect resources, and also I think it's got more similarities to Don't Starve as well. Um, I'm gonna be doing a let's play of Don't Starve. I'm pretty sure I'll let you guys know what's going on with that when it happens. So, okay, so throw in some more sticks. All right, remember guys, this game is an alpha, but I think it looks really good. Uh, these glowworms are like little lights, um, unlike Don't Starve and in Minecraft, there's no mobs that come out at night, like it's just, uh, or if there is, they haven't included it yet, and I don't know about it. So you see, I'm chilly, I'm hungry, and I have sore ribs. So this is kind of like a cavern that goes nowhere, so I can't really do much in here, okay? So these boulders are useful, we can sharp, can we, sh can we sharpen these ones? I don't remember. Okay, this island was once inhabited. Oh. Okay, it's still nighttime. You don't want to get out there. You'll get frozen. Okay, so let's uh, let's open up our inventory. F, and let's open up our work belt tool. That's our tool belt. Pardon me, tool belt. This is T for that. So I think if I put this in here, I can. Sh no, I need a small stone. Okay, what we're gonna do is put that back in our inventory. We're going to make a sharpened stick, and then we're going to drag and drop this long stick, and we'll make a. You don't want to sharpen a long stick, we're going to make a crude axe. So now we can chop down wood with a crude axe. So let's close the tool belt, let's close that, let's open up the journal. We'll slide our journal over here. Notice it's uh, nighttime now, so the journal's harder to read. And I bet you, oh yeah, pretty cool. So you're just going through the recipes here, guys. Oops, sorry about that. J for journal. So it's like sharpen stick, sharpen long stick, sharpen bone, uh, sharpen rock, sharpen axe, whatever you need. So the first thing you need to want, you kind of want to build is a workbench. Once you build a workbench, you can build a, long, a lot more things. And this is where I meant you need to get long sticks. So you got two long sticks in our inventory already. We're kind of just waiting for nighttime to go, and we need some tree pieces. Tree pieces are a bit tedious. We got to go chop them down. So let's uh, let's go explore the map a little bit. All right, here we go. Daytime, good. Lots of boulders. What's kind of nice is your tool belt is always with you, so you never really lose it. And what you can do is you can craft. Uh, what do you what do you call them? You can craft crates, and then crates can go into your tool belt, uh, into your inventory. Sorry, and then that way uh, you can always perpetually fill your inventory right now. So what's really cool about this game is you got a bit of, uh, I guess it's three dimensional. So if I go through here, you can see the map pops up. Let me open up the map again. The map pops up, and you can see that if I go through here, let's go through this door, press up. Now we're oh well, wow. it closed the map. There's some bad guys. Now, I haven't actually fought any bad guys, so let's check this out. Not bad. I killed him. That was pretty easy. Let's raid the... Let's butcher using your tool belt. I like butchering. So let's look at my tool belt. Oh, this game's awesome. It's honestly... The rain is really nice. We get a shell or animal carcass from animal carcass. We get the meat. 
legs and legs. Okay, butcher animal. Awesome. So we got the legs, the legs. It's really not much meat. And I believe the shells, when you combine them, you can make some kind of like, um, what do you call it, like water bowl or something. Anyways, okay, let's get rid of J, O, O, T, and F. Okay, let's keep going. All right, now here we are. We got ourselves a tree. So we're going to chop away at this axe. Now later on, you can make better axes and stuff, guys. Like this is just the first one. Uh, like this one does five damage and six damage. The, uh, the better axes, like not the crude axe, but the actual axe, it does like 12 damage. So it's a little buggy still, guys. It's a little buggy. It's pretty fun, though. I mean, the game's like really awesome, like in the sense that it's got lots of good detail. For an alpha, this game is actually in really good shape. I've seen some pretty bad alphas, and this is really good. So I picked this game up off Steam for 10 bucks. It's really cool. Um, hold on a second. Uh, I'm kind of debating. Uh, see, this is kind of when it gets silly. Like, if you're stuck, like we're kind of stuck right now. There we go. I bring this guy out. Okay, and I press one again for my axe. There we go. There we go. So I got this tree chopped up. So yeah, it was 10 bucks off Steam. Really cool. I actually think I might do a Let's Play. If I get enough comments on it and we want to play it, hey, I can pull that off. So let's open up our tool belt. And in our tool belt, we dropped down, I think it was four. Yeah, that was what it was. Four tree pieces. Let's get them in there. This part's a little buggy. A l oh, no, not. This. Weather is clearing. Good, we like clear weather. No, nope. tool, F, inventory, good. I didn't butcher that crab, so he's whole. Now we put the two sticks in there. Sharpen one stick. Aha, workbench. Right, left click to craft. Okay, we have a tool bench. Now this is really cool. You can actually leave this in your workbench and it doesn't take up any room, which I really like. So we'll, we can hide that and we can hide our tool belt. Alright, it's not really realistic, I guess. Um, I don't want to go all the way back to that other cave, only because uh, it was so far away. Here we go. This is a better spot to set up camp, because we can run inside. Okay, these guys, these yarrows, oh man, they're real, oh, not tool belt. Uh, boom, yeah. They're really handy. They heal, uh, you see that? It says, can be used to heal wounds, right click to use. Right now I have sore ribs, so actually let's use it. I right clicked, and I bring it on top, my sore ribs go away. It tells me I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. So, let's uh, grab our crab meat, uh, right click, and I can eat it. I think I gotta cook that. Nope. Okay. So, let's open that up and let's bring our workbench right here. Good spot as any. Boom. So, now we can craft more advanced items. So, if I right click on it, that's our new crafting bench. So, there's no way to actually, there's no, yeah, there's no, uh, what do you call it, shortcut key that I know of. I'm certain you guys are gonna tell me if I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comments, that's cool. All right, so now if we open up our journal now, we have more options to craft. Okay, so we got crude knife, workbench. Okay, we made our workbench. Now we can make a spike trap. And if you notice, there's a little workbench here, so that's where we build it. And we got planks. Oh, that's actually a really nice feature. I'll show you that in a second. So we got construction board, poles. Now the construction board is almost like, a, can make you walls and things. And then you use that on a construction is it called a construction bench? Uh, what is it called? I think you make it, yeah, it's called a construction, oopsies. It's a construction bench. And to make that, I need a workbench, which I have. And so it's two stone blocks and two wood blocks to make the construction bench. All right, let's try that out. So one, get rid of the journal, get our axe out. Okay, let's hack away at this tree. Oh yeah. The other one. So if you guys notice I'm rotating it, it's really cool. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just using the mouse wheel here. All right, and let's chop away at this too. Uh, sometimes it's buggy, you gotta kind of watch that. Okay, so this is what I really like about this game. It's really cool in the sense that there's so many recipes and you have no clue what they are. Like it's not intuitive, like it's not like Minecraft. There's no like, uh, I shouldn't say that Minecraft isn't really intuitive either, but there's, you know, like an ax of wood with a piece of stone next to it. And here are the ax and the stone, you just throw it on the workbench. But I really like how you have a journal. It's really awesome. Why isn't this job? There we go. Okay. So let's go and pick these. We'll open our workbench up. You got to get over to it. We'll open. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, put our axe away. Do that. Do that. What did I want it again? I need two wood blocks. Yep. So one. Two wood blocks. You see it stacks right there. 
Put the boulder in that we picked up earlier. One stone block. So let's pick this guy up. We should be able to drag it right here. Another stone block. Boom. Construction bench. See that? It's kind of like a crafting bench three in second. It actually takes care of it all for you, so you don't kind of drag everything around. So this should... This is a little buggy. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't make it right away. Oh! I didn't want to make that. Shoot. Okay, so we got a stall storage crate as well. We'll put that right there. And it's just storage, which is kind of cool. Which is good is that we only used wood because I got plenty of wood here. Wooden block. Alright. No, I did it again. Okay, now we have another one. Awesome. And now I'm out of wood, which kind of really sucks. I, this flint is very useful. I'm going to put it right into our inventory. This is kind of how we start fires and stay warm. And although it's not an issue yet, it will be eventually. We are. Oh, man. All right, okay. Let's right click this. We're gonna make a wooden block and now. You know what? I think you need an advanced one. Okay, let's go back. How do you make an advanced? Advanced workbench. It's three stone blocks. Okay, I think we need an advanced workbench. I think that's the problem. Let's try that. Let's chop this guy up. So we're gonna go right to the advanced workbench. It's like you make the workbench only to make the exact workbench. Okay, I'm looking at this guy and he kind of reminds me of like Almost like a Homer Simpson, Peter Griffith cross. I'm not sure why. It could be because he's morbidly obese. You know, I think it's funny that he's morbidly obese. Because that means he's set for this island. Notice I'm hungry, but I'm not starving. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's turn that into a wooden block. Advanced workbench. Alright, buggy McBuggers, what is going on? Oh my gosh. Okay. Da 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 da. Ah, it worked! Advanced workbench! Awesome. Okay, let's drop that right there. So, okay. So now, I need... Okay, there's a piece of stone right there, which is good. Alright, we gotta find some more stone now. Okay. Oh, perfect. That was easy. Usually, stone is, like, impossible to find. Okay. I don't know, I just really like this game, guys. It was really cool, it's like the, the way the rain comes down, the detailing on the stone, like the textures, is really good for an indie game like this. All right, let's throw those in there, and let's go back, get some more wood. I think there's one piece left in this. Let's see. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. The, uh, the detailing on the palms. Okay, ooh, there's a grub there. All right, yeah, grubs are pretty awesome. I think you can just eat these raw. Worms can bait larger creatures. Oh, I get it. Okay. We got to make some kind of... Oh, and that's what the spike trap is for. Awesome. Okay. This is a really small world. Usually they're a little bigger than this. What I'm going to do is... In my advanced crafting table... I'm just going to put that in there anyways. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go up in here. Kind of have to. We're out of, we're out of, we're out of worm. Okay. Get rid of the journal. All right. We're very cold. Oh, a coconut. Awesome. Oh, and another yarrow. Even better. Okay. So we can eat the coconut right away, which is really nice. What I really like about this in comparison to like a game like Don't Starve, food is in abundance. It has not been a shortcoming. Like it's, This game actually isn't very difficult in the sense that kind of reminds me of like vanilla Minecraft that you can kind of do whatever you want and not really worry about dying right away. Like I know that the zombies and stuff can kill you when it comes like at nighttime in, in Minecraft, but it's not quite that bad. Oh, I got a sniffly nose. I'm freezing to death. I just want the wood. I'm just trying to get the wood. Okay, let's uh, press one. Take, oh, take this wood. Got wood. No cheap for that though. Okay. There. Let's get into some cover because I'm going to get really sick and I'll die. Okay. See, I'm already, I don't want to go that way. I'm going to tur get turned around and lose my base. Okay. Let's go back left. I do have firewood. It's no big deal. So it's pretty easy to start fires in this game. You just use the flint and you just do it. Okay. Oh, look at all this. Look at the background. It's pretty cool. And I should be indoors now. Perfect. Okay, so it shouldn't be as cold. I should be able to light that on fire. Set fire. Set fire. Set fire. There we go. So now, okay, so we set a fire. So all I did is I right clicked on the flint and then I just lit it on fire. 
So there we are. Now instead of getting really sick, you can right click to use your yarrow and you're no longer sniffling. The one thing I find a little difficult is dealing with the th thirst. You need to make something to capture water. What's this? Alright, let's check that out. Is this way I came in? Ew. Uh-huh. Let's attack this crab. One. Let's do this. All right, there's one again, drop that off. Uh, the background music in this game is really cool. The caverns, I think, are really awesome and open. Um, is that a catapult? Catapult? No. Hey guys, well there you have it. Under the Ocean, a cheap indie game off Steam for 10 bucks. Really good fun. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.